This is again an illustration for the SVS Third Thursday challenge and is also part of a series I'm making uh, to explore design and rendering approaches, which I call the 100 Kids Project. Um, this is inspired by the Design 100 Something Challenge described by Jake Parker. If you want to follow that, I'm posting on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram with the hashtag uh, 100 Kids. With this one, I wanted to try out the digital watercolor brush of Procreate, which is located within the artistic set that comes with software. There is a lot of settings you can tamper with, but honestly, I used it as it is right out of the box. It has this beautiful watercolor paper texture and an edge that resembles the way watercolor bleeds into slightly damp paper. Obviously, it does not have all the beautiful variability that you can play with in real watercolor, but I was pretty satisfied by the basic watercolor -y look of this brush. Uh, and I will certainly experiment more with digital watercolor in, in Photoshop too. You see, I have tried to use color washes at the beginning, trying to get the feel of colors bleeding into each other like you would do with a real watercolor wash, but I did not like the way it was heading to, so I scrapped that and started from the beginning again. I painted monochromatic with sepia directly on the pencil layer. Uh, the brush is fully transparent and it takes a while to build up the darks because it stains very little on, on each single stroke. So for the darkest shadows, I painted on a separate layer and then duplicated the layer a couple of times until the desired level of darkness. If you use white with this brush, it looks really chalky. Uh, so there are two better ways of, to lighten. One is to use the eraser set to use the watercolor brush then you can erase back to the white of the paper without ruining the texture. Uh, and another option is to create a new layer set to color dodge and paint on that one with the watercolor brush. This works really well and I used it a lot. So at the end, this illustration uses a base layer with the pencil line and a monochromatic watercolor render, then a color layer to set the colors to the various objects and shapes, uh, then a normal layer on which I painted actually with the standard brush at low opacity to clean up the edges and then a multiply watercolor layer to darken the accents and a color dodge watercolor layer to create the highlights. Um, this setup allowed to have a nearly full control on the rendering without tampering with the transparency and texture given by the watercolor brush. Before ending this, um, I'm showing the SketchUp kit bash uh, that I used as a digital maquette reference for the pile of things. Um, I put it together with assets from the 3D Warehouse, uh, which is an absolutely awesome resource of crowd-generated generated items in SketchUp and, and some items that I created myself uh, within SketchUp. Um, SketchUp is very easy to use and allows to experiment with camera lenses and point of view to find the optimal solution for an image. Uh, but SketchUp models are very stiff and, and basic and, and very geometric, so they're, they're really just a maquette to use as a loose base for drawing freehand, um, unless you want a very architectural looking kind of style. Um, at the end of it all, I just took the image into Photoshop for changing a few small things and making the final adjustments to contrast and color. And here it is. Thank you for watching.